Okay, folks, uh, quick one for you this morning. Hopefully, uh, I wasn't documenting this. So, uh, nice uh, spot there. Uh, wasn't documenting this, as you can tell by the smoky uh, camera. It is what it is. I'm in my shorts. I've just hooked uh, stuff up to kind of show you. Um, uh, so, sure, you guys remember um, ba -ba -ba -ba, the uh, Dell XPS 8700 um, board I did on stream not long ago, where we changed replaced a couple of things um, I'm being back on with this this morning not sure how I can show you guys that it's still the same board I don't know if the location of that that we changed um, and then of course I changed let me move them I changed that and put a new one on um, owing to the fact that I may have killed the other one uh, but may not so um, quick explanation uh, I asked Nick Kennedy um, not long ago uh, what would happen if I deliberately shorted the PS on the green wire, the PS on signal to ground while it was connected, uh, which I've done this morning. Didn't expect it to work, I'm going to be entirely honest. Um, but it did somehow. Um, I'd connected the power up afterwards what it did when i deliberately forced that to ground the ps on signal what it did is the fan began to spin but it just spun constantly as if the system was or had been actively turned on um, but now as you can see I've got things set up here. Um, I got the um, mon this monitor set up with this keyboard. Had the keyboard plugged in, not done anything else really with it. Just trying to because we were, I, I was getting power, um, and I was getting activation on the power with the switch, but not getting a display. So. We now have power on the switch. So it must have been in some kind of deep sleep mode. That's the only that's the only explanation that I can think. And me shorting that to ground um, has kind of woken it up a little bit. Uh, let me just switch over to the capture card for the... Um, Display, let me turn my ugly mug on so you guys can see. Uh, may need to move my ugly mug, but leave it a minute. And we have a nice Dell logo. I'll momentarily hide my mug again. System fan failure. There's no system fan plugged in. RTC is reset. BIOS setup default has been loaded. Um, that must have been onto a, a thing. Strike the F1 key. This is the first time I'm going to strike the F1 key to continue. Strike. So we've got two hard drives there. We've not got anything um bootable hooked up uh, 
switch you guys back to that. Power that off with the switch. Power's down. Now, the problem came to be discovered that the reason I was getting no display is because this particular board doesn't support this particular i5 CPU which um, thankfully uh, I have Wayne to thank on that one uh, as you guys can see um, me and Wayne had a little conversation this morning and from that it clearly states the which is what Wayne sent to me it clearly states which i5 Intel Core i5 processor it supports and this one is a 4460 4460 isn't on that list 4440 is but not a 4460 So there we have it, that was just a quick one, uh, just a, a bit of an update, as I say I didn't document it, I didn't have it recording, I didn't have it streaming, I just didn't expect it to fucking work, but it does. So there we have it, the system is up and running. Um, not sure what my brother wants me to do with it now because it doesn't support the i5 and I'm sure he wanted the i5 putting in um, to maybe attempt to resell it as a budget gaming PC um, well we'll see Thanks for uh, taking the time out to watch uh, my short video. Um, I'll render this almost instantly. Shouldn't take long, less than 10 minutes. Uh, may see how it goes and then upload it instantly or upload it straight away. Uh, but yeah, you guys know the ending bits. Uh, if you liked it, blah de blah de blah, all that. If you didn't, it don't matter. I don't like sounding my own voice. Till next time, guys. See you later.